Hello and welcome to um, the PHP uh, form, uh, the contact formula um, part 3. In this part what we're going to do is actually going to write the code for um, sending the email um, and also I'm going to just finish off a couple of things that we had to do on here first. So let's just nip that in the bud first. Um, now if we press the submit form, um, basically it comes to um, the form underscore process, works out there's a whole bunch of errors, comes back to index.php and displays these errors. Now what we want to do is be able to press the reset form button for all these to, to disappear. So if we press reset form, it, it does nothing. So what do we need to do? Let's come back to index.php, just have a look at this quickly. Now we've got um, an, a submit button here with the name of reset and we've got a submit button here with the name of submit. Now this is going to submit the form um, but the reset button, what we've got to do, come over to form underscore process, here we're saying if post submit, so if the post submit button has been pressed then it's going to do all of this code and it, it's going to come down to here. Okay, well we don't want it to read that, we want it to come to form underscore process and look for um, this if statement. So if um, post reset then do this so it will ignore all of this all of this code here completely okay because it's not um, post submit uh, okay so what we want to do here is basically say um, okay so we want to say session um, destroy yeah and that's that's basically it and then what we do is we just header uh, location index.php whoops and uh, of course we could make um, an elf ist, elf else if statement as well uh, onto here but I just find it easier just to do it like this it keeps it nice and simple um, so let's come come back to here give this a bit of a refresh and press reset form and now they all go so we press submit and it still works and we press submit again it goes so everything still works all the time so it's no, it's no problem whether we're using else if or just an if statement um, basically okay anyway let's crack on with this shall we uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to um, write in the email um, that we want to send okay so let's get on with it okay the first thing that we need to do here then is basically put some of these variables into shorthand um, so let's come to here and what we want is name equals post uh, name and you just need to do this with all of them so we've got a, a shorthand variable to do um, let's get rid of you and let's just get rid of that as well and get rid of that okay I'm just going to pause the video and do the rest of them okay that's them all done now there's something else that we need to basically do is to um, strip away any tags HTML tags that someone's put in there and the way we do that is just say um, strip tags and then chuck a, a brackets on the end of this and we'll just copy this and we'll strip them all away from every single um, variable so they're all nice and clean and this one as well and on the last one what we're going to do is going to do new uh, line to break which will keep the formatting of um, how the email how the message is so if anyone puts in a, um, presses enter does a line break or anything like that um, then it's still going to be there um, and it's the last bit of the text okay so that's that bit done now the next thing that we need to do is make a few um, variables so what we're going to do is say webmaster this is where the email is actually going to be going to and uh, we'll just put my email address in there and uh, yep next thing we need to do is make the subject of the email so what we're going to say is um, contact form um, uh, about YouTube and next thing we need to make basically is the um, uh, the body of the message okay now okay this is um, very very important from the body and what I'm going to do up here if you're using PS pad is switch on um, these lines so we can see um, whether there's any um, spaces uh, with inside there because it's so important what we need is three um, less than signs and EOD and from here don't do any spaces at all and just press enter and this needs to be flush against the side so anything from now on um, is not um, within not about PHP or HTML it's just formatting this text so what we can do is this is a body of the message so we're going to say name 
is equal to uh, name and then put a break and we're going to say uh, surname is equal to surname and put a break and we'll say phone is equal to phone and then put a break and we'll say email is equal to email and put a break and then we'll say uh, what's the next one uh, websites so we need to say webs websites equal to website and then put a break and then we we'll say comments equals comments and then put a break and that's it pretty much done now what we do is we go on to the next line and we simply just say EOD and semicolon now that's the body of our message done next what we need to do is do the headers okay now what we say here is headers and we open up a, a string and we say from okay this is from the email so it's from this person what we do is do backslash r backslash n it's very important that it gets done like that and next we say headers again and what we're going to do is we're going to extend this whoops extend this variable if i can get it typed out and we're going to turn this off now because it's not important extend this variable and what we say is con contents dash type equals text stroke HTML so that's the format that it's going to be in and we do backslash R backslash N and that's it basically done okay so now next bit is to send um, the ver send the mail um, so what we use is the mail function okay and inside here the way that we've just formatted all the variables we say webmaster first and then we say subjects and then what we say is um, the body and then what we say is the headers so that's it basically done okay so um, there's nothing more to it than that we've got the webmaster here got the subject um, here the body here which is hugely important what I told you that there's no um, spaces or uh, anything else um, against here it needs to be flush against the side otherwise it won't work and then uh, we've got who it's from as well and we're telling it how to format the email okay next thing what we need to do is we need to upload it to my web server because I don't have an email server uh, on my computer and you will need to do the same as well this will not work unless you have um, a, a PHP server um, you're on the internet okay so I'll see you in a second once I've uploaded it to the web okay now we're going to be uh, testing on my FTP so we can see that I've got my um, index.php here which we're going to open up and my form underscore process the only thing that we did um, forget to do here is basically uh, we're just going to echo out a message and we're just going to say success your email uh, was sent okay nice and simple and control is to save okay let's come over to um, here and as you can see I've got um, test.thorn-design.de forward slash contact underscore form okay and I press enter and we've got the form here let's just reset this because I was testing it and it did work first time okay so I haven't altered any of the text and as we're now uh, actually online doing this we press submit and you can see it still works and um, we can fill out a form so let's fill it out properly let's do David Thorne phone number email is info at thorndesign.de website is www.thornwebdesign.de hello there all this message was sent and now we just submit the form and we submit it takes a second success your email was sent and if you wait a second you'll see um, my um, Thunderbird has recognized that we have an email and we come to it here and as you can see now contact form David Thorne telephone number hello there all this message was sent okay that's it nice and simple and you can do um, a redirect on this page you can do whatever you want um, to basically if you want to um, display uh, another thing if I show you on um, my the thorn design thorn web design 
.de. Uh, the contact form here uses basically the same uh, concept, I submit the form and it enters um, some errors and I enter all this information in and an email in and a comment in and I submit the form, it comes over here and it just and you can see the emails come to me there as well okay and that's that's basically it that's the um, contact form done as easy as that uh, very very simple well my name is uh, David Thorne I hope you enjoyed this tutorial come to www.thornwebdesign.de and uh, you can read the other tutorials and see the other tutorials that I have please subscribe if you have any questions uh, I will answer them if you've got any ideas for new tutorials I will do them um, okay thanks very much for watching and goodbye